Hello YouTube, as the title says, this is going to be a 4x4, a QJ 4x4x4 review. So, I want to say off the bat that it came in a very nice box and I paid under $6 for it on cube4u.com, I think. Yes, that's where I bought it. Um, the ca I don't exactly have a fantastic camera, so the the tiles look a little like like dark but in reality the colors are very vibrant as you can see there's like a nice contrast between the red and orange the blue and green and the black and yellow there's obviously a contrast before I start the actual review I'm going to do a size comparison between the Diane 4x4 and the Rubik's 4x4. These are the three 4x4s I have. And yeah, that's about it I have to say. So, as you could see, the tiles on this puzzle add a little extra length and height to it. So, if there was no tiles on this puzzle and if it was stickers, I think it would balance out and give the same size so turning this puzzle is very finger trickable after you lubricate it lubricate it sorry and break it in because out of the box the outer layers were quite stiff so anyways it's very nice these inner layers are fantastic It still locks up a little because it's a uh, ball core. Um, the uh, well, that's one of the pros of the cube that it turns pretty well, but it still locks up. It still locks up. I'll g just give you a few re a few reasons why I like this cube so much. The first reason is that that it's like it's tiles, and for the price I paid, I was expecting really cheap vinyl stickers. But it came with tiles, so I was like, hooray, and I was very happy. Because after you use stickers a lot, they start to peel. Like, that. Or if you have a Rubik 3x3, you would know how the clear plastic just peels. So anyways, that, so that was one very nice thing about this puzzle. The second very nice thing was, it was very simple, well, easy to take apart. So I was easily able to spray stuff in it to make it move faster. The third reason why I love this puzzle so much is because the turning quality is fantastic. It's not too loose. And it's finger trickable. And it doesn't it overlaps a little but if I go normally it doesn't. If I go at normal speed. Anyways yeah fantastic Th those are all the pros the cons are how heavy this puzzle is since there's like plastic tiles this puzzle is obviously going to be very heavy so at first I was very surprised because I was very really used to these stickered puzzles yeah this puzzle is quite heavy the second well, thing that I wasn't very happy about is how the ball inside ball core colors the pieces because it's black they were probably intending to ju they probably made a black core for everything for all their 4x4s and use different color pieces that's what probably ended up happening My, the third the second complaint I have well it's not a complaint it's it's because the plastic feels like harder and a little cheaper for these pieces compared to, to the Diane plus MF8 because it really feels like softer plastic here but it could be just like something I think and it could be the same plastic my um, third complaint would be that 
this these tiles are like not that fantastic for people who have big hands, and it's, it's sometimes it's quite hard to have a grip grip on the puzzle, I guess. But that's really much, pretty much it. So if you have big hands and yeah, if you have big hands and you like your puzzles to always look nice, because since these are tiles, the stickers are never going to peel. You're never going to peel. This is definitely a cube for you. So, in conclusion, I'm just going to say that this puzzle is probably always going to look brand new. Except if I drop something dark on it, because it's white plastic. It turns very well. The corner cutting would be maybe 3 out of 5, 4 out of 5. Same thing for inside corner cutting. Um, it was easy to take apart, so... The um, lubrication process was quite simple, because, you know, this was very hard to take apart. The Rubik's 5x5 five five is almost impossible. It took me like half an hour. It came in a very nice box. But, the plastic is hard, it's a heavy cube, and it's a slightly, it's slightly like, it's hard to get a grip on it. So that's about all, like that's really what I have to say on this puzzle. I'm probably going to end up buying a center on cubesmith.com for this puzzle and try to find somewhere to sell me a corner piece so I can um maybe buy tiles and you know use this as my main speed cube because it turns better in my opinion and it feels nicer but I'll be honest with you it cost it costed around four times the price as this puzzle so I was pretty impressed to be honest with this puzzle and you should really go buy it out of all honesty that's what I think please like comment and subscribe and be ready for the next video goodbye